Hello busy bees, welcome to my channel for those who are new and for those who are very old subscribers, thank you for keeping up. So my name is Lita K and I'll be giving you exciting content on marketing, communications, advertising, everything in that field. So I decided to call you busy bees because you're always busy so I figured I am just another busy schedule. So why not call you busy bees? I hope you like my name. Anyway, so subscribe for those who haven't yet subscribed, please. I promise you there's going to be amazing content. And then please hit the notification bell so that you're always constantly notified when new content comes up. So let's get into it. Right, so our topic for today, like I said, is going to be why you need a social media calendar for your business. Why is it very key? So um, many of us have businesses and we have online presence, but actually have one problem. So um, in most cases, we only have one person handling the social media. So many of us are like, oh my God, I haven't posted on Facebook in like three days. Let me go post. Or I have, I have content that has just popped out of my mind. So you go on your Facebook uh, and then just type it the way it is. So you don't really plan ahead. You sort of uh, have ideas just coming from left, right, center. You have your notebook, you jot it down. You have your phone, you jot it down. In the, at the end of the day, you actually do not have a specific spot where all this content is placed, which is why I'm here today. So I'm going to help you uh, know exactly what other brands do because you're probably looking at this bigger brand and you're seeing they're always posting content on Twitter probably an hour after an hour and you're like oh these people are so busy they must have someone always on the computer no it's never like that in fact these people use what we call a social media calendar other people call it the content calendar so this like I said makes you have the uh, leverage on all your competitors because at the end of it all you have a better day planned out a better week planned out and a better month planned out so how a social media calendar works is you first of all need to define what your interests are as a company so you're a brand yes what do you offer and what is your target audience by now, I'm sure you have to know which uh, social networks work for you. Is it Facebook? Are you a travel blogger? Uh, you may probably want to use Instagram. Are you a PR person? PR personnel always need to use uh, Twitter because they are always constantly having new things that are coming up. So you are announcing a new product uh, you have a future a, a blog anything that comes out needs to go fast on twitter so it all depends so all these social media calendars vary from one company to another okay so i'll give you some very few tips that you need to do first of all there are very many tools that you can use to help you draft a social media calendar i know most of you are thinking oh how am i going to do that so um i don't know but you can google trello i'll put it down a link down below so that you can be able to visit that site they give you free access to a template and you can handle all your social media sites on that very platform so it's very good very conducive um, for anyone who doesn't want to spend on a social media tool to do scheduling posting and all those are what is required of a marketing person okay so tip number two like i said uh, this information is going out as you've scheduled but it needs to be valuable to the people watching you do not want to put a uh, scheduled posts and they're all showing selling 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 by selling 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 if you are let's say uh, operating a business in shoes and you're always just selling shoes or buy shoes eh, you're posting shoes every hour it gets monotonous people run away from your page so always have something of value to the customer probably uh, show them how to wash sweat shoes uh, the different types of shoes and how they are washed I, I mean always come up with something so that the, the end consumer always benefits instead of just selling so that is the other tip you need to consider while setting up all this content and then the third tip is you actually 
going with the hashtags that are trending. So we all know Twitter, for example, has uh, the hashtag thing going on where you always have to trend with all the, you know, whatever is happening, you always want to push hashtag Independence Day, hashtag Tacos Day, if you have tacos in your country. So it's always key to keep up with what's trending. So if you're having uh, content on, let's go back to shoes, and then uh, today is the day when uh, Uganda Cranes was playing, right? And you're looking at the shoes they were having. So you could, you could just uh, be creative around that and probably look at their shoes and then link it back to what you're offering, right? So yeah, that's basically the tip I can give you. Always know what interests your audience. Never make it one-sided. Okay, so I also need to let you know that drafting a social media calendar takes a lot of time in that it needs your concentration. But it doesn't take a lot of time compared to you who is going to think of a tweet in two hours, think of what to post on Facebook in two hours link. I mean, it takes, what I'm trying to say is get one day to draft your social media calendar. One day is enough. Think of what you post on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all throughout the week. And then, because that's for the weekly social media calendar. But um, sometimes you always need to draft a generic content content calendar just for the year. You know, um, what, what what are we having? What, what are the major events we're having? What are the major launches we're having this year? That's the generic one. But then go into details with the weekly one. So that means every week you have to have a social media calendar because that makes it more detailed. You know exactly what you're posting on which social media platform, you know which hashtag you're using, even which image you're using. Yes, it's that detailed. And then that will help you uh, save a lot of time when it comes to your daily tasks. So you can concentrate on other tasks during the week and just uh, copy paste whatever is on your social media calendar to your social media network. So yes, just uh, have time. Um, develop that if you, if you if you're doing it yourself I hope this helps um, if you are a company and you have a marketing person I hope they know that they have to draft a social media calendar because that is very key for any um, growing business all right that was it for today thank you for watching till the end um, if you like the video please subscribe and also I'll not uh, emphasize enough I'll always be improving on my content so if you didn't like it there is always room for improvement but this is what I had for you I hope you enjoy and enjoy mm -hmm.